Hi everybody, Jay here. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, my big ugly carrier that uh, I'm pretty proud of the interior. Uh, but the exterior, you know, it's uh, it's a good combat ship, I guess you could say. It's very thick, heavy armor. Just a quick guy really protected those thrusters. And these windows actually are pretty fake. They don't go really very far into the ship. And uh, there's an entrance there, and these side doors I don't even really use, and these big chimneys are just uh, ways to protect my uh, hydrogen thrust. It has a tiny bit of electric thrust on it just to kind of prevent it from drifting if it loses hydrogen or whatever. Alright, so let's go ahead and press the big red button here. Door goes ahead. There's 54 drones in here, by my last count. I might be off by like a drone or two if I forgot something. I'm not sure. Who wants to? Nobody's got time to count all that. Anyway, so um, I can launch the first 10 and then the rear 44 separately, but we're, we're not going to do that. We're going we're gonna to just go. We're just, we're just going for it. It's actually funny, I had the reactors and all the drones shut off uh, to conserve power, and I forgot about it in uh, the last video. Um, the drones were, weren't, weren't doing a good job like they are in this video. We had these guys kind of buddy up, but it's, you know, I think they're alright, they're not really, see, they're, they're sorting out their differences just fine. Sometimes you get a little bit of that, I kind of... These drones need restacked in here, but it took like a whole day, so I you know. I think it's good. Uh, yeah, so that's how many of them there are. Go ahead and count them for me real quick. Time's up. Anyways, let's go ahead and go inside. So yeah, it's completely empty of drones now, you can see. So whatever do you do when you're up to your drones? Well, you come down here, and there's uh, this little button. Opens up this door. I think you see where I'm going with this. This is on this is on creative mode, by the way. Um, in survival mode, it's much slower. Uh, these displays actually work right. Um, these are scripted out to show uh, what resources the projectors need. But yeah, it's, it takes quite a while, actually, to get a drone out of this thing. Uh, let's just go ahead and stop the printer, manually launch, and then well, there she goes. And uh, it actually would continue going on its own if I didn't stop it. Anyway, so moving on. Um, we have a refinery over here, and an assembler over here, which is uh, scripted up as well. So this uh, same kind of setup. There. And let's just go ahead and go this way through the ship. Try to do a good job with the interior turrets in such a big ship like this. So it's just you know you don't never know what kind of what kind of rats are gonna pop out of the cracks over here. You know. Uh, yeah, I got a little secret secret uh, uh, maintenance duct around my ship. I don't, I don't want to crawl through that. It's it's not fun. But anyways. Yeah, I got another guy. Nice. Yeah, just a door. Kind of sacrificed some armor on my jump drive here for this turret, but I have several, so I think I'm fine. I've actually been not doing a proper airlock either. This guy is permanently set to depressurize, and um, so that I can just kind of do whatever I want as long as I don't open both sets of doors. It's, it's faster. The other airlocks are just always a little too slow. I can come up here and see kind of my fake out uh, windows. Go ahead and shoot at them all you want. see the bridge is actually level below those windows with heavy armor blocks through the front and uh, it's it's not interior plates behind that uh, 
those displays if you're wondering. But yeah, here we here we have the captain's seat. A little bit of I don't know if I should play that to put that on YouTube or not. Uh, I did do some crowd pods and uh, just living quarters through here, medical. Kind of like a kitchen. I did uh, men and women's section. Facilities. Some beds. And oh uh, yeah. You can Get up and you gotta get up in the morning and take a look at out the cargo bay. I thought that was a nice touch, uh, except for I can't get back out of here. You see, it just depressurizes and we're safe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments.